Hi guys, it's Alexis, and I am here in one of my favorite kitchens, my family's kitchen in Albany, New York. And I haven't made it to California yet. I'm here for a little while first, hence the winter garb that I'm still in. So um, I'm going to make today for you Dr. Paul's meatloaf, which is actually my one of my first times making it, but I've had it before and it's delicious. So I'm going to just walk you through the items that I've prepped thus far and then we're going to put them all together. So the first thing we did was actually sauteed uh, two stalks of celery as well as an onion and two tablespoons of butter and just did that over low heat on the stove top. Got them nice and brown. Then we mixed together um, a tablespoon of sherry, a tablespoon of mustard, as well as two eggs. And I whipped them together in this little bowl. And that's where we're gonna actually put everything together into this. Um, then I got our carrot shredded, as well as zucchini if I had it, um, would also be shredded. And then we're going to now combine all of those things into the into the bowl with the meat. So we have here about a pound and a half. The recipe calls for two pounds of meat. So we're going to combine that in with our egg and mustard mixture. And I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to add a half cup of oats um, to give it some volume, as well as a quarter cup of organic ketchup to give it some flavor. And organic ketchup is great for um, replacing any of your usual ketchup that you would use. Most ketchups have a lot of sugar and or high fructose corn syrup in them. So this ketchup is nice to use because it doesn't have any of that stuff in it. So we're gonna combine our meat together with now our shredded veggies. I'm gonna put our carrots in there. And a half cup of oats. So I'm just using standard organic rolled oats. Those are going to go in there as well. We'll mix that up. And then we're going to add some spices. Oh man, this is starting to look really good. My dad loved meatloaf, so I'm really excited to get this down. Alright, so then we're going to go with our spices. <clears throat> so it calls for a teaspoon of oregano. So we're going to go with a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of marjoram, marjoram. I never use marjoram, but it's probably good. And then a teaspoon of salt, which always measure salt over the trash because you don't want to put too much salt in your recipe. That then ruins the whole thing. So I'm going to get a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of or, or just regular sea salt, and then we do fresh ground pepper as well. You can do about a teaspoon of that as well. Mix that all up. And then we're going to add our ketchup. That will make it nice and sticky so it'll all stick together. Put our ketchup in. And then I'll mix it all together and I'll show you the finished product. 